Hello, my name is Michael Forrest, and this is Leaving the Laptop, Episode 3. I just wanted to do a quick intro because I did record this six months ago now, and it's before I got this studio, so it's in our spare room at home, and it's using an ironing board as a surface. And in the meantime, I released Episode 2 because I wanted to show sort of what my criteria of success are before I started getting into the actual techniques themselves, because some of this stuff might seem a bit weird if you didn't understand that I'm also sort of trying to play pop music as well as improvise as well as doing the other things but you can see my other video for that and I'll put like I'll put that there um, but yeah let's get going shall we an app I found really useful is tractor on the iPad I'll sort of show you some ways you can use this so if we grab say this backing track that I've made that's got no drums in it it's just got it's just got sort of like the musical parts with sort of two fingers you can kind of like just loop we can immediately sort of get started you can sort of muck about with it which is always fun you can sort of do these various things with it quite like this mode as well so you can sort of go so you can have your little loops and then you can sort of let that run and then you can sort of let the parts that would just be a bit awkward to do so like that just little rise there Woo! So now we're back into a loop. And this is quite useful to know that this, these triggers can sort of, is a, a lot more kind of timing accurate than that button. So that's quite useful to know later. So obviously this isn't gonna be enough. Uh, well, I mean, you could do a whole thing with this, but you'd just be a DJ and we don't wanna be DJs here. We wanna sort of do something a bit more interesting. So something I've found that makes this thing nicer to use is it's got a hardware thing so I'll plug that in as well and while we're here yeah we're gonna need a little mixer so so, so that when we plug more things in we don't sort of run out of space this isn't a mixer it's just a little sort of controller um, which I still need to plug in Obviously you don't need this thing at all, but I find it a bit more helpful. Yeah, electronic music. You need the wires. But yeah, now we've got the ability to sort of do things here as well, which is quite useful. And if let's but if we grab the sort of the drums from this track, we could sort of like we could really quickly start um kind of putting more things in there. So if I just add a thing here. You can sort of hold that down and let go of it and it'll keep playing. Um, there are a lot of good tutorials on here. You see that little nine? It sort of shows you all the undiscovered features of the app and you can go through it. Obviously I've been through this before, but I've installed it on this iPad again. Um, so this sort of gives us a basic thing that we can kind of move back in and sort of... We can sort of have a little bit of structure to a track like this, but you know, it's still pretty rudimentary. So I'm gonna sort of add some weight to this with a little bit of analog hardware, but only little things for now. So the Volca Beats. This is this is an okay sounding drum machine. Just this plug in. So 
So we've got this bit of hardware, external gear. This, obviously, there's no way of syncing these. Well, there's no easy way of syncing these particular devices and, and lots of sort of cheap hardware or like even older hardware. There's going to be no, well, there's a MIDI sync, but there's no kind of MIDI cable. And you can muck about for ages. But something you have to realise is electronic gear is pretty accurate. The clocks are pretty accurate. So if you just put stuff at the same tempo, it'll generally kind of sound okay. So we're at like 120 here and we can um, just uh, and sort of immediately um, do something that's maybe in time. And then let's, if we just want to add a, let's add a kick. And if it's not quite right, because it's a short loop, you can try again, like triggering it again. There's a way you can fix the snare on these things so it doesn't sound so dodgy. Let's just take it out. It's kind of a rounder thing. Um, but if you do want to add another thing, what's quite good here is we can add another Volca. And then because these are quite easy to sync, you just need the cable. It comes with it. You might as well. Okay, so I'm going to unloop this little loop. sync everything all the time to kind of make music um, and I'm just a real believer in the iPad in a multi-touch display and the audio has always been really good on these things um, and you sort of like there's no distractions like a laptop there's no 16 other windows you can sort of I'll, I'll talk about audio bus and things later but I I prefer to just I just prefer to have another iPad with another app on it and then in different songs maybe switch to a different app. But it's nice to just have this very clear focus. You can sort of come out of the loops so that it sort of doesn't get boring because if you hear stuff that's just um, vulcas sometimes. It, it's sort of immediate, it sort of starts to get very dry, so it's good to have something with a progression under it going on at the same time. Now, 
Now, the next challenge is, how do you sort of end a track like this? Now, I mean, you could just wait for it to get to the end. I mean, that's what I should probably do. But what I'm going to do is um, show you just one more trick that I really like, which is bringing in like just an effects unit on the, on the master. And we're back in here. So then I just find like a sort of delay thing, or, and then I think this one might be quite good. So you want to finish the track, you can just go. I, I quite like that as a way of finishing a track. Um, and in fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that and then just while it's silent, just quickly stop everything. And then hopefully when you let go, we're cool. Okay. So that was that. Hopefully you got something out of it and hopefully I will see you again soon. I do actually have another one of these episodes pretty much recorded. I've got a Patreon which I'm trying to run like really professionally uh, the way I kind of do my day job when I'm doing a day job as a programmer. So I have a Slack channel, I have Trello boards, I, I kind of use all those tools. And the idea just being like basically if you're putting money in, the more money you're putting in the more of a say you get. Um, which is just how the world works isn't it? I also have a new podcast with my friend Ivanka called Michael and Ivanka's Grand Podcast. If you want to go and subscribe to that, uh, it's at grandpodcast.com. Um, and also my website is pretty good at the moment. If you want to just go and just like have a leaf through that, there's all sorts of things on it. Um, anyway, so yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.